And I can't not tell you how many people have come to me over the years and been like, oh my God, reading your book was like light bulb after light bulb after light bulb of, oh my God, that's what that was when I was a kid. The funny thing is, entity awareness actually isn't rocket science. It's just something that no one's educated about. And very few people talk about it. And if they do talk about it, it's either with fear or absolute significance, which just creates a lack of movement. Yeah. Hi, I'm Grace Douglas with Access Consciousness Publishing, and I'm here with my sister Shannon uh, O'Hara for our author series, and Shannon is the author of Talk to the Entities. Shani, can you talk to us a little bit about your book and what inspired you to write it? So I, I basically wrote Talk to the Entities because our dad actually, like, and a lot of other people actually over years was sort of like, you should write a book, you should write a book. How many people have heard that you should write a book? So I actually sat down and I did it. And in the writing of Talk to the Entities, I discovered so much that I knew about entities that I didn't even realize I knew because you don't really get it until you sort of say it out loud. Right. And so Talk to the Entities was a culmination really of sort of being really aware of the spirit world as a baby and as a young girl and as a teen and as a young adult and what that was like, how I dealt with it, um, and how access consciousness contributed to expanding um, my awareness into what we now know as Talk to the Entities. So it kind of is the foundation of your business then. It kind of started... The Talk to the Entities book is definitely the first place you want to start if you desire to open up to greater awareness, learn what awareness of the spirit world is and can be. And it's definitely been something that's contributed massively to my life, both on a personal level and on a business level. What are your favorite tools when it comes to entities? So definitely tool number one when it comes to spirit awareness is acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. It's when we ignore and we pretend it's not, because sometimes we have to ignore and pretend it's not because we have no way of handling what we're aware of. So we're just sort of like, I can't be aware of this. Right. But really, the step towards having more possibility, making it easier, and actually being really effective with awareness of the spirit world especially is acknowledgement. Okay, Mm -hmm. I am aware. Okay, this is an entity. Right. Okay, so now that I'm aware, now what do I do? And really, like, the premise or the foundational um, cornerstones of Talk to the Entities is clearing, communicating, and receiving. Mm -hmm. And those are basically the three, the only three things you're ever going to do with the spirit. Right. And it's like... Why don't people tell us that? Like, oh, okay, the spirit either needs to be cleared, communicated with, or received from. Interesting. And so when you break it down to those um, three basic premises, we can start to actually become effective um, rather than afraid or overrun or overwhelmed by the massive degree of awareness that's available, especially with the spirit world. And in your book, I think you give a lot of examples of that for people that make it very clear and very easy so that they can, they have an example, but then they can also kind of institute it in there. Yeah, and that was really, that was really the aim was, number one, to give stories about, like, this is what it's like, and this is what it was like for me being aware. And I can't not tell you how many people have come to me over the years and been like, oh, my God, reading your book was, like, light bulb after light bulb after light bulb of, oh, my God, that's what that was when I was a kid. And then also including tools and the ways that I learned to deal with it and the tools that I was taught by our father to start to empower myself and actually work with the spirit world. Because the funny thing is, entity awareness actually isn't rocket science. It's just something that no one's educated about. Right. Well, I think people have a very negative connotation when it comes to entities instead of having the positive Definitely. take on it that Definitely. you and have. One of the, one of the, and I sort of had to make it positive because in truth it is positive. And what's been so phenomenal for me is once I said yes to the spirit world, it was like, yes, there was a lot of stuff that had to be cleared and a lot of very heavy duty stuff that I've dealt with and that people in the world have to deal with when it comes to the spirit world. But there's also this magical world of like entities that will support us and are kind and desire to give to us in our lives and take care of us. And it's sort of like, wouldn't you like to have that too? Yeah. So you open the door and you get it all. Entities are just like people. Some are awesome and some are not awesome. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Are you planning on writing another book yeah, anytime so there is, soon? There is, there, is an, um, there is a second Talk to the Entities book coming, which will be Talk to the Entities, The Next Generation, Beings of Light. 
Amazing. And that's really sort of like the next frontier of stuff that I'm just starting to be able to talk about with people and do classes on, which is the light beings, which are the beings that some people call guardian angels or spirit guides. And I really take it out of the metaphysical definition and into what's it going to take for us to actually start to work with the beings that are here on the planet with us that are so magnificent in their power and brilliant in their kindness. What kind of a world could we create together? I'm excited for that to come. Me too. What's it going to take? <laughs> Everyone keep Hopefully push- soon. <laughs> keep pushing me. <laughs> We're going to have to harass you for it forever. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here with us today, with me today. And I'm excited to see what else you create with it. And thank you for having me, ACP, and how does it get better than this? <laughs>